The legendary life of Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, the most effective sniper in military history, became a book and movie, American Sniper, and got a Hollywood ending with six Oscar nominations. But in real life, the heroic tale ended in tragedy when Kyle was killed by a fellow Iraq veteran two years ago. Listen, my brother just came by here. I was at <laughs> He's now left, but he told me that he's committed a murder. The man accused, 27-year-old Eddie Ray Routh, was at a Glen Rose, Texas resort with Kyle and Chad Littlefield. Authorities say Routh shot and killed both men at a shooting range on the property. Jury selection is ongoing, with the court initially summoning around 800 people, hoping to winnow down the massive pool to 12 jurors and two alternates. From what I understand from the book and the movie, he was, Chris Kyle was trying to help people, and that's why he was trying to help him. He didn't put his clothes on backwards. He was a sane man to go to that shooting range. Ralph's lawyers are planning to argue he was insane. Many expect PTSD from his service in Iraq and a relief mission in earthquake-stricken Haiti to be a narrative in that defense. There really has to be a severe mental disease or defect that's clear. And usually that includes a history, a documented history of mental illness. Attorney Barry Sorrells is not involved in the case, but he has represented a war veteran with an insanity plea before. He says Ralph's lawyers must prove he didn't know what he's accused of doing was wrong. It needs to be a situation where the jury feels uh, sympathy for the defendant. Getting an impartial jury is another matter. The movie American Sniper has been popular in the town where the case is being heard. I tried to come here multiple times to get a ticket, been sold out. The trial may last two weeks or more. John Moan Associated Press, Stephenville, Texas.